we are gonna go down to Delish Deli. It is Chantal's birthday today. How many years is she gonna be, Gina? I think 37, 38, I don't know. 30, <laughs> no, you're joking. Or maybe 35. Really? Yeah. She's that old? She's so old. So this part of my day-to-day -day life, going from Purple Cow to Delish Deli, to Purple Cow to Delish Deli, it's good exercise, you think, right? All right. Let's try not to drop it. All right. What do you think, people? How's it look? This one out. I'm nervous. Let's go, people. Now, we gotta be extra sneaky so she doesn't see us coming in the building. Ah, what do we got here? Okay. Time to sing happy birthday. Okay, make a wish. All right, happy birthday. All right, time to. Ah, we got ice cream. Now you know why the ice cream is hiding under there. What, you came up with a good excuse for why there's ice cream? No. <laughs> or sneaky, sneaky. Oh, he said for tonsils. Yeah. And good excuse, Mike. Now we know Mark's very good at lying. I mean, coming out with good excuses. None, none for me. I'm on a diet. Down 13 pounds. You guys will have to eat for me. <laughs> Enjoy. Happy birthday. Already 16? Wow, I didn't believe it. Somebody said that. You look a lot younger. 35, just like me. I'm really on diet. I lost about six kilos in two weeks. I'm trying hard. Six kilos? Yeah, it's a lot, right? So. Yes. Yes. You want to get a piece, Kresha? Later, alligator. Okay. Okay, see you guys. Enjoy. See you. So, always good to celebrate birthdays with the Delish Deli team and the Purple Cow team. My birthday's coming up June 10th. Guess how old I'm gonna be in the comments below. I'm curious what you think. But now I gotta head upstairs. There is kind of a meet and greet and one of the managers of the building here asked me if I would come up and say hello. So I'm gonna go check out what's going on up there and then back to the office after. Let's go. talking with Jeff and the guys at King's Property. Tell me about this new service they got with Avant. Before it was just kind of a co-working space that they had here at One Nido Tower where our office is. And now I guess they're expanding into property management. So I'll give them a bit of a shameless plug. Definitely worth reaching out to these guys if you need any help with property management for properties that you have for corporate spaces. They do a great job with co-working and things like that as well. This is not paid, but we just work with King's Property and these guys since we moved here at a couple of different offices now and they have done a great job. Anyhow, enough with property development. Time to deliver some cake. It's one of the employees over at Delish Deli Sugbo Centro. 
newer location that we have and check out how everything is running over there. Let's go. Say hi to my <laughs> hi to my vlog. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Hello from the three amigos and Taylor Swift. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So most of what winds up happening is I forget if I park on the second or third or fourth floor. I'm so old and forgetful. All right, time to drive. All right, time for some traffic. Welcome to Cebu City Traffic, people. Half of my day is in the office, the other half is sitting in traffic. People always complain about the traffic in Manila and it's bad there, but I don't know. For me, it is just constant traffic, traffic, traffic. So even if we're going just a short distance, often it feels like it takes forever and ever. One of the different things about driving here is there's just so many motorcycles everywhere, including the camera lady holding that camera. She's especially the crazy driver. It's not just the cars, it's really the motorcycles that are on your right side, your left side, on top of your roof, under your car, going in front, behind. So I always uh, feel like I just gotta be so careful with motorcycles everywhere. Sometimes it's like a mom and a dad and they're carrying one, two kids plus a dog, <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. Sometimes I've seen people carrying small refrigerators like on the back of a motorcycle. It's amazing what people do with motorcycles over here. So you can see our old building, Avenir, just up ahead. So when we first opened up the office here in 2019, we were at that building owned by King's Property, same property developer that owned uh, the place where we're at now. So we had one office there, then had two, and we opened up our first Jewish deli there, but we since moved it over to Subo Centro, over in IT Park, which is a popular place nearby us. Both the uh, Delish Deli in Juanito Tower, where my Purple Cow office is, and over here at IT Park are really different from each other, different crowds. Whoop. There goes, I don't know what that was, paramedic. One kind of caters to a little bit more of an upscale crowd at Juanito Tower. And the other is just people, everyday people kind of working their job, looking for a cheap place to eat. So one of the challenges running a restaurant is really finding, number one, enough foot traffic where they're going to buy your food from you but that's really not enough, especially here in the Philippines. Second thing is you need to find enough people that make up that foot traffic that it could afford your prices. Food could be ridiculously cheap here, or it could be more expensive than the US in some places. So there's a huge fluctuation in terms of prices with restaurants here. So we've always had to kind of balance out, you know, where's the right place and, uh, we're always looking for new locations that might be a great fit. So this kind of car in front of us is called a multi-cab. Mostly there's like seats or different things like that, but this is just one person on a really little plastic seat. I don't know if you guys could see it. This reminds me of like, 1970s, 1980s America where you could just sit in the bed of a truck without like getting a ticket for it. Everything when it comes to like driving laws, seating laws, people without helmets. I mean really legally you're supposed to wear a helmet here but I'll see little kids driving on a scooter with their parents with no helmet or in the back of a truck like these guys ahead of us. Anything just goes over here whether they're driving fast or slow. So dangerous, <laughs> kind of scares me for them. Hey guys, just got to drop some off at Delish Deli real quick. Oh. Is it okay? Right. Okay, thanks so much. Hi, sir. Hey, how's it going? I brought you some uh, birthday cake and ice cream from Chantel's uh, birthday. It's from her birthday cake for you. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, so you gotta enjoy. 
Yeah, yeah how's everything going? Everything is in. Going good? Uh, going good, sir. All right, good. Ah, uh, I understand. Thank you, sir. Yeah, a little bit quiet. All right, have a good rest of your day, huh? Thank you, sir. Okay, take care. All right, hopefully some new subscribers over there. What do you think, guys? And what about you? Have you subscribed? Come on, just don't let them subscribe. Time for you to subscribe, too. Back in the car, back in traffic. Anyhow guys, thanks for coming along with me for the drive and for a bit of my day. As always, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch all your support. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I would greatly appreciate it. As always, take care.